The one is just a really likable smell. I've liked it ever since I first smelled it. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little re-review on these two variants of the one. The one is a super, super hyped fragrance. It's a fragrance that I've liked for a lot of years. A lot of people have put as their signature scent. It seems to still get hyped even after I've hyped it and everyone else has hyped it. It seems to still get hyped. I was noticing that I got a lot of new fragrances and I was trying them out. I've always seen them by the ones sitting back there. I haven't tried them in several, several months. So I was very interested to see how they stacked up versus the newer fragrances. Cause I've got my hands on so many new cheap fragrances, so many high oil fragrances. So it's very interesting to see how these stack up to the original. These are very, very similar. I would say 90 to 95% similar. After I do my pros and cons of both these i'll explain the little nuances that i get and these are both very highly regarded designers probably probably in the top five most usable newer designer fragrances it just smells good it's got like a unique sweet spicy smell it's a prop it's a popular name brand and it's also not that much money just overall a lot of good stuff about this but I'm very interested to see how they stack up to the new i like dolce and gabbana it's the one royal knight more than the one edp and to be honest i kind of still do but they're so so very similar it's hard for me to say one's for sure better although i do probably lean a little bit more towards the one royal knight let's jump into the pros of these fragrances the pros is that they're both likable and slightly unique the one is just a really likable smell i've liked it ever since i first smelled it every time that i do smell it it has just this a little bit this slight bit of unique spiciness to it that makes you so you go oh that is 100 percent the one it definitely is very 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 likable one of the more likable fragrances that comes to mind these these fragrances, with most fragrances, they're a little bit sweet. These are kind of like date night fragrances. These just smell better in the cool air. I tried these both out for, I mean, probably about five to six days each. They can feel a little bit flat at times. Sometimes when you get a little bit of cold out there, it's like, wow, does this fragrance smell very, 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 very good. But then there's sometimes, I guess, when it's a little more hot, where it just isn't as good smelling. It smells a little flat, just a little bit not the best. But once you get a little bit of cold air in there, it really does open up. So I find these fragrances, are for people who are kind of in a lot of intimate situations. And I think a lot of people would want fragrances that are meant to be worn around women. Wanting a powerhouse daily fragrance, I definitely wouldn't go with this. It's for a specific personality. It's almost like for intimate situations too. It's kind of like a one-on-one -on -one with a female, in my opinion, that seems to be where it shines the best. So if you're somebody who doesn't have very many of those situations, wouldn't really say this is for you, but I'm pretty sure most people having heard that would think that they fall into this category. So if you want it for the date night 100% so good for intimate situations 100% agree let's go into the cons of these fragrances some of the cons I was noticing with this one is it's not the best projector now most people have said that this isn't the best projector I was noticing that I'd spray myself up so much with this once it got past like an hour hour and a half two hours you really weren't smelling yourself that much for how many sprays you could put on seven or eight it's surprising that it doesn't last very long it's not worthless projection but it is pretty average and right down the middle definitely not strong and then these fragrances aren't the smoothest to be honest with you guys it's not necessarily rough or bad but there's just kind of like this designer kind of blending that it could be better if you look at something like the Baccarat Rouge 540 clones or if you look at the Grand Soir clones or if you look at like Carlisle clones all those are my opinion are more unique and more well blended than this I'm not saying that these are bad but when you've tried some really really top tier spicy sweet fragrances these are definitely a step down in my opinion although they're still wearable and I still like them they're just a noticeable step down in overall blending overall smoothness and overall uniqueness these aren't the best for the warm weather they didn't smell bad but they didn't definitely didn't smell as good as they could have when it was a little bit warm so obviously save these for the cold weather these fragrances are really good just in my opinion they weren't as smooth and as unique as i remember them comparing them to some of the clone houses if i were to give you a couple fragrances that in my opinion are just better than this one i would go with central obsessions three rivers which covers carlisle I would do Central Obsessions, Have a Good Night, which copies Grand Soir. I would do Dapper Fragrances, Layton is a really good one. Any of the Baccarat Rouge 540 clones, you can go with Duas. Casino Royale Nights is really good. Babylon Fragrances, Sacred is really good. They all provide like a sexy, spicy smell like this, but in my opinion, they do them a tad better, but I don't want to take anything away from this fragrances, guys, because I did enjoy
enjoy wearing them. I do think they're really likable and I did enjoy the spiciness to them. So as far as why I prefer Royal Knight, I feel like Royal Knight has just a little bit more going on to the DNA. It has a little bit of this sharper kind of smell, a little bit of this muskiness more in the background. But I do notice the sharp kind of smell will linger a little bit longer. And there's times where I'll smell a little bit of the sharp smell and a little bit of the one smell versus with this. I only smell the one smell and it's not nearly as sharp and the sharpness in my in my opinion helps the projection, but they're so, so very good. Although I do prefer the one Royal Knight. I wrote down a little bit of a rating here. The smell I'd give a solid eight. Very, very good, well above average. I just not as smooth as I remember. Not as clean as I remember, but still a solid eight. For likability, I'm gonna give this 8.5 to a nine. This fragrance is really good. Notoriously likable. Almost everybody I've showed like this. And the only thing you could really say is that it doesn't project that much. But besides that, I would say almost everybody likes this. Very good. Then longevity and projection, I'd give a solid seven. Maybe at times it seems like a 7.5. Sometimes it seems like a 6.5. I really wasn't impressed with the projection of this one, but it's not so bad that it's worthless. Like I was saying, it still is good enough. So I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. And then I wrote down a few situations here. Most people have smelled the one, but I'm just going to give you the situations. It's in the office, I think this is okay. To me, like I said, this just screams intimate situation. When I think about the office, I really wouldn't want to wear this too much around the guys. I really wouldn't want to wear this in a situation where it's unfamiliar or it's hard work and things like that. And the date night close encounter, obviously one of the best, great, great, highly recommended. Um, workout, again, this is going to be okay. It is a little bit lighter, but again, it's just not something that I would want to wear every day for every situation. It's for a specific intimate one-on-one -on -one situation. So it's okay for the workout. These are not loud summer or loud winter fragrances by any means. It does not project that long. And then number two, it doesn't have that loud everyday wear kind of smell in my opinion this is just an intimate one-on-one -on -one kind of smell but a lot of people buy colognes just for that reason so that's been my re-review of the one royal knight and the one edp still a top tier fragrance choice there is a few that i think would slightly edge this out and they are copies of really expensive fragrances too this is an affordable fragrance so not taking anything away from them let me know what you think of the one edp and the one royal knight we're on the road to twenty five thousand subscribers and i couldn't do that name you guys hope you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace Um, the one is a super, super, uh,